you want to experience Paris and not break the bank, I'll show you what I did. In this video, you'll learn how to enjoy Paris on a budget with affordable activities and attractions. Many travelers assume that visiting Paris is too expensive, but there are plenty of budget-friendly options available. You can go and have a walk down the river, have a picnic in the park if the weather is good, visit the markets and popular coffee shops and so on. And of course, visit the main attractions. The ones that made my list are the Eiffel Tower. I lingered around it all day, managed to see it in the rain, in the sunrise and sunset and you guessed it at night time. The light show was amazing, as expected, as on the area around it, well, it was good, but they were rebuilding a lot of it as the Olympics just happened. One thing I want to mention is that, in my opinion, it's not really worth going up the tower, instead, I have a better spot. The reason I say don't go up is first the price and second what do you want to see while up there? One of the main attractions, most iconic building and you're right on top of it. Yep, that's right, you're missing the Eiffel Tower from the view. I'll tell you later where you can get a really nice view of the city with the Eiffel Tower in it. But my next go to location is, and I might say this wrong, Sacre Coeur. On the way to it, you can walk up the hill and see all the little side streets with coffee shops and restaurants that are iconic. Once you get up there, the view is amazing and more importantly, free. The entrance is free, but the queues are always too long for my patience. While up there, you can always go to the Artist Square and have a croissant while up there. On the way down, you can find many small and famous coffee shops and restaurants. See art all over the place and make your way to the next attraction, the Wall of Love. In my opinion, it's always busy, people are always sitting way too close to the wall and you can't really take a really good picture of it without having multiple people in the frame, but that's just my opinion. Nearby, there's a nice little coffee shop and after a quick pit stop there, you can go and see the Notre Dame and then move on to the Louvre, hope I said that right. Oh, I forgot to mention, traveling in between these attractions is quite easy with the metro and it's reasonably priced. At the Louvre you can go in, if you please, as it's reasonably priced for the vast amount of things you can see. Or, if you're tight on time and budget, a few pictures outside in the courtyard will do. And so we move on to the last attraction that I think should be on the list of everyone visiting Paris and that is the Arc de Triomphe. You can go up it for 16 years at the time I made this video and the view is fantastic with the Alpha Tower in it. From there you can go a bit further up and visit the foundation Louis Vuitton. Great park around that area and cool looking building. It was closed when I visited so I never went in. But remember, to visit Paris, you don't have to break the bank. You can always just go and see the famous places, get some cheese, a bit of wine and a baguette and go to a nice quiet park for a picnic. Oh, one more thing. For more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and a comment and let me know what you think. As always, thank you for your time and your attention. Bye bye.